In 1985, after 69 years of laying dormant, Nevado del Ruiz, a volcano in Colombia, erupted. The hot rocks and material erect, e ejected during this eruption mixed with and melted the ice from the volcano's glacier. This created several mud flows which travelled down the steep slopes of the volcano and destroyed the towns and villages at its base. At the end of this event, more than 5,000 homes were destroyed and over 20,000 lives were lost. Flows which contain a combination of volcanic material and water, like the one I just described, are called lahars. Lahars are particularly damaging because they combine the properties of a flash flood, that is they travel very fast and occur suddenly, with the damage potential of landslides and avalanches due to the large amount of material being carried. <coughs> My research aims to better understand how these catastrophic flows behave, where they go, and how much damage they cause. We can predict these properties using computational modelling. Computational modelling is when we use computers to solve equations that describe the properties of lahars, such as where they go, how fast they travel, or the, the forces they exert on buildings. And these models are valuable, accurate tools in our arsenal to help alleviate the effect of these events. However, the models we use require detailed information on the shape of the terrain that the lahars flow down. But in areas at risk of lahars, this terrain is constantly changing through erosion, previous lahars, or human interaction. And this makes current methods we use to measure the terrain, such as through satellite imagery, difficult and costly. I'm approaching this problem by applying principles and methods of computer vision, <coughs> which is used, usually used to make robots see and understand the world. First, I acquire aerial images using a remote-controlled quadcopter of the region we're interested in. Then, using these computer vision principles, I've developed a process to convert these images into a representation of the terrain, which we can use to run our computer models on. By creating more detailed and accurate information on the terrain, our computational model accuracy has been improved. And this enables us to extract specific, targeted, and detailed information on these lahars. And this additional information will help us to develop safer communities and communicate the risk of these events effectively. Thank you.